Thanks for watching the Council in Brief. I'm Susan Kennedy. We're here with the news of the Montgomery County Council for the week of May 5th. The Council and its committees have been hard at work reviewing the Executive's recommended budget for fiscal year 14. The operating budget will be approved later this month and go into effect on July 1st. Among the budget discussed this week was the request of the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission. Included in that discussion was the work plan for that agency. A 5-4 to four vote by the Council allows Park and Planning to begin work on a minor master plan for Aspen Hill. This could lead to rezoning to allow for a much debated Walmart store in that community. Once the planning um, board decides what should be done and comes to us, we'll make a determination. If it is to change it to retail, then the owner has an opportunity and I encourage him and I've spoken to him to go out and seek out the best possible retail for that community. We should not settle just for one particular type of retail. We should look at something that can be innovative, that can really work um, with that community. And so that's where that decision will be made. And we're years away from that um, also. So it's important to clarify that because this has been characterized as fast-tracking Walmart. The council doesn't have the ability to do such a thing. That's nice except that uh, Walmart announced two years ago that it had a signed agreement with the lease. So how do you pretend that you don't know what you know? So for me, this is only about this because that's the tenant the lease want. They've told me this is the tenant that they want. Walmart's been in the paper say we have a signed agreement. So it is what it's about. Um, if the planning board had come to, to us and there was no Walmart in this picture and they had said our evaluation of this area says we should do a mini master plan up here, I would have supported that. As the council continues to craft the 2014 spending plan, several members are proposing cuts to the energy tax. The council is considering six different options for reducing the tax. In 2010, the county executive increased the energy tax by 155 percent. With the stipulation, it would sunset in 2012. Council members say the county needs to stick to its word to lower the tax. Proposals range anywhere between 5 and 10 percent in reduction. The county council in 2010 uh, passed a huge increase in the county's energy tax. It increased rates that ended up being 155 percent uh, increase on uh, homeowners and a 60 percent increase on businesses. And our energy tax is by far the highest in the region, and it makes it uh, less makes us less competitive, particularly with other jurisdictions, because they all have much lower energy taxes. In addition, the energy tax, the county's energy tax, is 10 percent of most people's energy bill, and that's a higher, higher percentage than people pay for social security or for low state and local income tax combined. And the county promised that it would be temporary. So the county needs to keep that promise to phase it out. It's prom and graduation season and public safety officials are doing their part to keep students safe. Every 15 minutes is a program that targets high school seniors and challenges them to think about drinking and driving and the responsibility of making mature decisions before getting behind the wheel. Recently, students from Poolsville High School participated in this one-day program. It's a harsh reality. Every 15 minutes, someone dies in an alcohol-related accident. And to drive that point home, students from the Poolsville High SAD Club worked in conjunction with police and fire personnel to recreate a car accident with actual emergency and police vehicles responding. <laughs> the staged accident was caused by a drunk driver, a student. The victims were also students. The Every 15 Minutes program offers students real life experience without the real life risk. This is not an accident, this is a choice. And these kids chose to drink and drive. Therefore, they chose to take someone else's life. So as we go into prom season, as we go into graduation time and sports and spring and summer, these kids can make this a part of their life to make a responsible choice not to drink and drive, text and drive. Well, that does it for this edition of the Council in Brief. I'm Susan Kennedy. Thanks for watching.